Good morning, everybody. It's Coffee with Katie. How are you doing today? Happy March 1st. Hmm. Nice day. It's supposed to be a little warmer today. My daffodils are popping up. I've already started my herb seeds for my garden. So hopefully, hopefully by the end of, the, of this month, I'll have little plants. It makes me very happy. Quick reminder, March 10th is the awards down in Columbus at Ohio State Student Union. I think it's the Student Union. I think I got that right. Uh, let's see. I will be out of the office that day. I'll be working from home in the morning and then leaving for Columbus in the afternoon. I'll, I probably will have to leave my house around noon. So just make sure uh, that you have everything turned in to me by then or before then so I can get it done. Um, some quick housekeeping items. Please make sure, most of you are doing this, but please make sure that you're including on your transaction worksheets the Cobrokes MLS ID number. If you want to know why I need that, you can call me. I'll explain it to you not a problem. Let's see what else. Oh, please submit all of your listings for review, whether they're a rental listing, a regular listing, any listing. Please submit for review so I can get those into the system as well. Um, sales, of course, make sure, make sure you're submitting those for review and everything is filled out. Uh, and of course, Getting your, boy, I lost my thought there for a second. Oof, turning 52 is not a fun deal. Make sure that you're turning, getting your earnest money turned in. Okay. And just a quick thing, on the mutual releases, if the earnest money was not collected and you're getting a mutual release, don't put the earnest money on the mutual release because we never received it, right? Makes sense. It's logical. Put on there that the earnest money was not collected um, and just leave it at that. Uh, we've had some problems with that, and I think still think there's a deal out there from an agent that left that... We never, the, the buyer never turned in the earnest money and then we turned around and there was a mutual release and the seller wants the earnest money and we don't have the earnest money to give them because it was never collected. The buyer ghosted. So in that case, I would say that, um, you know, put it in that it's going to be collected after inspections so that you know, it, it's out there and it's transparent, okay? If you have any questions about that, you can give me a call or you can call one of the many brokers, brokers that we have here in at BHHS, and I will gladly give you their numbers. Anyway, I think that's it for the day. Go out and enjoy the day. Do something nice for yourself, and we'll talk to you soon.